Hey folks, it's Mike. Um, I'm back at uh, Cinnaboyne Forest. First time since May, I think, something like that. Um, Tis the season. It's you know fall, of course. Um, so I'm, I'm back here to take some more fall photos because I want to take advantage before all the leaves are gone and it gets cold and such. Um, really, the challenge today is just to try and uh, get some nice photos in woodland areas because it can be a challenge. Um, and I gotta practice. That's what I gotta do. Um, so. Let's hit it. Uh, one of the challenges with, uh, you know, woodland photography, which this really is, you know, because, hey, it's woods. What else are you going to call it, you know? Um, kind of just trying to find a subject, because, I mean, there's you know, trees over here and here and all over the place. Um, and at the moment, the skies are a bit dark-ish in some areas and light-ish in some areas, so it's... You know, trying to find, you know, light hitting, say, that tree right there kind of thing. Uh, yeah, may or may not work, but I mean, at the moment, it doesn't really work, so... Yeah, um, yeah, anyway. Okay, so I've gone off one of the main trails, which for me is typically not a good idea because I get lost in this forest a lot. Well, every time, actually. Every time I go off the, the trail, does, does that lead me back to the main trail? Or does that lead me to the back to the trail? Or do I just fall in the water somewhere? I don't know. Um, I think I probably should just go back to the main trail and just, yeah, go me. I'll say one thing I do like about uh, the fall is all the colors, which I've said before, of course. Um, but I mean, in places like this with, you know, a lot of foresty area, during the summer it's all green essentially, a little bit of brown, whatever. But I mean, it's, you know, on a day like today where it's some dark clouds, some sun, um, during the summer, it looks kind of bland and dark, but I mean, with all the changing the leaves with the yellows and the reds and the, the browns and whatever, um, it you, looks like you can see even deeper into the forest, which is really nice. Um, I just try not to get lost again. So I came upon this sort of scene right here where you can see the, uh, I don't know what they're called, honestly. I'm no plant guy. But uh, a moment ago there was sun shining right on top of it. Everything else didn't have sun on it and really was kind of popping. And then the clouds rolled in and it's kind of bland. So yeah, I'll have to pass. Note to self, or note to whoever finds, finds my camera with the SD card in it, I am here. And I think I'll go that way, uh, probably around there too. Um, so if you find this and you don't find me, I've gone crazy. Wait, I already am crazy. Uh, uh, never mind that. So, as you can see, uh, it's, uh, it's coming down now. Uh, well, there goes that video, I suppose. Um, uh, well, crap. Um, 
think maybe at this point I'm going home because like the radar is saying it's going to be wet for a little while. All right, so let's uh, give this another go. This is the uh, third day I've actually been in the uh, Cinnamon Forest. Uh, first two were, I won't say disasters, but they were short. Uh, first time I was here earlier in the week, um, my wife and I were here and she tripped and sprained her ankle. And then uh, second day I was here, got some nice photos with you know some dark clouds, but those dark clouds turned to rain. So uh, I'm back again, trying to uh, finish where I started. So I uh, came out here this morning on a frosty Saturday morning, plus two Celsius, um, hoping to uh, maybe see a little, uh, you know, mist or fog or something like that, considering how warm it's going to be today. Yeah, it's not there, but it's still quite nice. I'm certainly enjoying myself. Uh, what else can I say? It's nice. Of course, I woke up this morning, it was uh, bright, sunny, hazy, and then, uh, of course, as I'm making my way here too, back to the Assiniboine Forest, it got cloudy. And now that I'm sort of making my way back out, it's sunny again. Sheesh. Mother Nature, make up your mind. Sheesh. So as you can see, uh, this is basically a uh, wooden teepee in, in the forest here. Um, there are actually plenty of them in this forest, along with the Bois des Esprits, uh, Cinnaboyne Park, uh, several other places that I've been to. I don't know if it's only a Winnipeg thing or a Manitoba thing, but I, I like it. It's neat. It's something to look at. And uh, yeah. Uh, not much else I could say. Um, do the usual, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.